Hey y'all, it's your girl Omnitrix, and we're here with another angler video. Today, I'm going to be showing you a hot spot for lake trout. It is south of the main outpost along this river right here, and we're going to go to the trailhead just to the right of it, Blackfoot Basin. All right, now that we're here, we're going to go down and get a boat. And I'll show you kind of how you want to position your boat and what you're going to want to use. All right. I'm going to grab this bow. Okay. So you're going to want to get your biggest setup that you have. I have the biggest bait caster just in the store and the biggest reel because they're going to be heavy fish. And then I like to use a size three spinner. You can also go up to a size one. That's the biggest that I've used to catch them, but I pretty much always use a three. So we're going to go ahead and drive over here, kind of into this little corner that I'm heading straight for. There is a weather device. As you can see it kind of popping up to the left. You're going to want to kind of angle the front of your boat towards the weather device. And have your boat kind of parallel with the shore that's right in front of me. Go ahead and turn here. You can get a little bit closer to the weather device. But this is about the furthest that I would be from it. And then I usually cast towards it, and we're going to let that spinner sink all the way to the bottom. You want to make sure that your reeling speed is on a 1. You can up your drag up to like a 55 to start out with. And it does take a while for it to sink to the bottom. Right, and then what I found works best, especially for this reel, is not reeling in as fast as you possibly could on a one, but since I use a controller, the best way for me to explain it is to kind of hold your left trigger down slightly. I haven't tried this on a keyboard yet, so if it is possible to do it on a keyboard, that's going to be your best bet. And as you can see, we've already hooked into our first fish. doesn't feel too heavy as we haven't had to like up our drag it hasn't taken anything out yet but it's a good sign get this guy up here see what it is i'm thinking a silver maybe it's not taking too much to reel in but again this is a heavier rod and reel setup come on buddy come in Fighting me too much. There's a little bit. Come on. Come on. There he is. Right. We got him. All right. Yep. So we got silver and 9.8 kilo on that three spinner. Decent sized boy, though. Right, let's try this again. Cast towards the weather device and let it sink. And as we are reeling this next one up, I am going to go ahead and play some clips of some previous trophies that I've gotten in this area. Just to kind of show what your possibilities of getting are. I know a couple other YouTubers have also shown off this spot and they usually catch a lot of diamonds in this area. So 
I think the smallest rod that I've used is the rod and reel that you get from the missions in Trollsporta, Norway, the Norway map. I haven't used anything really smaller than that, but these lake trout do like to fight when they're bigger, so just be careful of that one if you're trying at with smaller tackle. But here's those clips for you. Oh, that is taking out a lot of line. That's a big fish. I haven't had one take out this much line yet. Oh my gosh, am I going to be able to get this one in? We're already at 90% drag. Oh no. No, stop taking line, please. Oh my god. Oh, come on, buddy. Okay, okay. It's a give take situation right now. We'll we'll see how this one goes. Come on, buddy. All right, all right. Trying to come in. Come on. Keep coming. Not giving him any chance to run. It took forever to get him in this close. Okay, 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 we're below 10. Come on, buddy. Oh, this has got to be a big fish. Come on. Oh, that thing's huge. Holy cow. Look at the size of his head. That's a big fish. No way. That's a big fish. 19.8. This is my first diamond lake trout in this spot, but... Man, they weren't kidding when they said it was a hot spot. We've been catching a lot of silvers. I haven't even caught a gold yet, but this is my f this is my first diamond link trout. That's a big fish. Getting a couple screenshots here. Wow, we'll go ahead and put him back in the water. Kind of going slower because I feel like doing it all the way fast on the one speed is... Oh! Oh! As I was saying, doing it the full speed of the one speed seemed a little bit too fast and I wasn't catching as much. This is a heavy fish. Holy... And this far away from that weather buoy? Not taking much line though. He's coming in pretty easy. I guess it must just be the new rod and reel that's helping me out. He's heavier than the silvers that I've been catching. pretty steady though not really taking any line out we're only at 75% drag right now already at 10 meters come on buddy here we go here we go come on should start seeing him soon oh man Sometimes the arms getting in the way are kind of frustrating. 
Gotta try to pull him around. See how big he is. There he is. He doesn't look very big in the water. Oh, well. He's fighting a lot. Yeah, once he gets sideways, he looks pretty big. Definitely a bigger fish. Oh my gosh. This is harder than the last diamond I got. Okay. Nice. Alright, my first gold. Let's go. 14.5 kilo. Nice. Alright, let's do it again. Here at the bottom. Real and slow. Nice. Oh boy, he's taking on a lot of line. Holy crap. I had to shoot up to 85% drag just to keep him in. This is pulling out a lot more line than the gold. My last gold I got. Holy cow. Let's go. Alright. Finally under 10 meters. Come on, buddy. I can barely see his tail. Oh, he's right there. Come on. Gonna be a fight and a half. Let's just secure him. There he is. Oh my god, he's huge! That's gotta be a diamond. That, that's gotta be a diamond. Look at him still trying to take out my line. Come on, let me secure the catch. Holy crap! 22.7. 2.8 kilo larger than my last one. Than my first one, I should say. That's a big fish. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. Oh, crap. I just realized I was on a three speed. I wasn't even on the one. Holy. All right. All right. Getting them up pretty easy though. Not as hard as the diamonds have been. Still holding his ground though. Maybe a big silver? I'm really hoping it's a gold, but... Come on. He's really... There we go. Oh. Two meters at a time. Let's take down our drag a little bit, see if we can get some more line in. Come on. Quite literally two meters at a time. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Ten meters. position long enough. 
Dang, that one was close. Nice, okay, we got it. Yep, this gold is smaller gold. 13.4. Still a very big boy. A nice fish. Featuring my husband there in the background, also fishing with me. Here we go. Alright guys, those were my kind of best trophies from this area so far. So as you can see, you can do this too. In my opinion, the three size spinner, maybe even a one, works the best. Drop that all the way down to the bottom. Start reeling pretty slow. And then you should be catching at least some decent silvers. I know sometimes this is a sometimes it's a dead zone but most of the time when I come here I fish all day long and I usually get quite a few of them let's we'll see if we can get another one here there we go size I said size three spinner start out at like 55 drag one speed if you have a bigger reel, try to do it a little bit slower than the one speed if you can. I know I've caught a couple of them off of going the full speed of the one speed with this reel. But it seems to work better and I catch more if I go a little bit slower than that. Here we go. This is, see this is a little guy but it's still fun to bring him in. Here we go. Yep, just a silver at 5.8. But not too bad. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and keep fishing. I hope that this tutorial and location is helpful for you and that you catch some awesome lake trout. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, go back and check out some other videos that are out, and enjoy the rest of your day. Deuces!